Hi Aquarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week on October 25th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're seeking a psychic reading, it is JackieTomlin.com or you'll find a link to that below this video. Okay, you're entering a week of good luck and abundance. Okay, the only thing that can bring you down is when you allow negative thoughts in. Uh, it is a week of kind of the calm before the storm, so get the rest that you need while you can. There will be a small wish granted. You are pushing forward in a positive light. You're also making decisions that you've been putting off for way too long. And there is a warning to proceed with caution, okay? Now, that is whether you're at home in a vehicle or around the house. Um, you might get a message that's a little disturbing to you. But either way, it shows you're on the right path. So let's take a look. This is for my Aquarius for the week of October 25th. First card up. Ten of Cups, which is your happily ever after. This is in the home life. This is in the love life. Um, for my couples, you're sending forward to another level, like living together, commitments, vows, engagements. If you're single, this indicates to me that you're headed to a relationship. You have a major arcana of strength that says you have the strength to get through no matter what is presented to you. You have the Six of Cups. Now, before you are ready to shoot the messenger, this says that you're getting ready to reunite with someone from your past. And this is someone you are actually happy to reunite with. You also have the Six of Wands. Total victory, complete success. See a lot of love going around here, whether it's friendship or in the love life. Uh, this also indicates that you may be surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by or have an audience. Center of the reading. Ace of Pentacles, your new beginning is in your financial sector. New beginning and communication as well. How you communicate with others and how others communicate with you. Three of Pentacles is a timing card in regards to those finances. Okay, it does tell me that what you need will be provided for, and it's going to be a matter of timing. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. This also is good luck and abundance, total complete happiness, and total contentment, wish fulfillment. Four of Pentacles, making wise financial investments. Now, and also on a personal level, this is asking you to keep some things to yourself. Don't tell everything that you know. So let's go further with these messages, starting up top with that Ten of Cups. Okay, with that comes the Six of Swords. You've got three sixes here together, um, which indicates love, honestly. This is leaving the troubled waters, heading off to the calm, leading, leaving a negative spot, heading off into something better. On your Strength card, we have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups... It's asking you to open your heart. Open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. Could also resonate as a Scorpio. And on the Six of Cups, we have the Death Card Energy. Okay? This is endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. So one door closes, one door opens. It happens all at one time, which is going to create a wave of emotions. Okay? It's a very powerful new beginning. On the Six of Wands, the Fool card. Love the Fool. The Fool says you're happy, carefree, you're good, lucky. You know, um, you're ready to take a leap of faith. It's also a warning of making foolish decisions, but ultimately it does show that you're taking a leap of faith. On that Ace of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is the card of self-imposed restrictions. This says no one is going to hold yourself back but you. Okay? So remember that as you're moving forward. Because I do see you moving forward. On the Ace of Swords comes, again, this is the Four of Pentacles over top of the Four of Pentacles. So he's driving home the wise financial decisions, but also keeping some things to yourself. Really, I'm going to say what you need to keep to yourself is your financial situation. Okay. On the Three of Pentacles. There it is. Abundance. Ten of Pentacles. 
Now with that, that is the highest financial card in the deck. But it's also, it's it's your abundance card. It's family, it's friends, it's love, it's money, it's everything. Okay? And on the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords. As I stated at the beginning of the video, this is the calm before the storm. Get the rest that you need when you need it. And on the Four of Pentacles, we have, love this, the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, total happiness, total contentment, love arrows flying around. And there's only like uh, what I consider two happy cards in a deck of 78, which is the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands. You got them both side by side. So a lot of happiness going on. Center of the reading bonus. Page of Swords. Happy, carefree. Could indicate new friendships spinning off as well. Also could resonate as a Taurus energy. Okay, Aquarius, looks like you've got a fantastic week ahead. Um, enjoy. And like I said, it's a week of good luck and abundance. And I will see you soon. JackieTomlin.com for Psychic Readings. Bye.